So what we're going to do is we're going to balance a complete combustion reaction. So what we want to do is I want to separate my reactants. from my products. Okay, so what I'm going to have is I'm going to list, right, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. And typically, if I write it this way, this is also the order in which I'm going to balance them. I'm going to balance carbons first, hydrogen second, oxygens last. So how many carbons do I have? 14 on the reactants. How many on the product side? One. How many hydrogens? Thirty. Thirty. How many uh, hydrogens? So two hydrogens. How many oxygens on the reactant side? Two. And how many on the product side? So we've got the two from the CO2 plus the one. So we've got three. So which means we've got to increase the carbons, the hydrogens, and the oxygens on the product side. And you see why we want to leave O2 for last? We want to leave O2 last because it's the only one, like it doesn't change any of the numbers. See how everything, see 14H30, two things, right? So whatever numbers we put in there is going to change everything. So I want to balance my carbons first. So what number am I going to put in front of, carbon. in front of carbon? 14. 14. 14, right? So I'm going to put 14 in front of CO2, which means I have 14 carbons. But also, how many oxygens do I have now? All right, 28 oxygens plus one, so 29 oxygens, All right? So now, I don't need to balance carbon, so then I want to balance my hydrogens. So what number am I going to put in front of the H2O? 15. So I'm going to put 15 here, so how many hydrogens do I have now? I have 30 hydrogens, so that doesn't need to be changed. What am I going to multiply oxygen? So oxygen is going to be multiplied is is already got two. So two times something, two times something. to give me. Now I don't have twenty nine oxygens. Yeah, yeah. I have twenty eight from here mm -hmm. plus fifteen from there. How many oxygens is that? So twenty eight plus fifteen. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight plus what? I have forty three. Oxygens. How, how to get for 14, 14 times 2 uh -huh. is 28. Yeah. Plus 15 times 1, so 15. So 28 plus 15? Uh -huh. 28 uh -huh. plus 15 is 43. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So now, what can I multiply 2 by that will give me uh, 43? Oxygen is for. for um, yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah. but now here's the. This is the problem. Students are going to look at it and go, "Sir, you know, or Miss, you know, whoever their teacher is, I can't multiply two by anything that will give me forty-three." And then I tell students, "Think mathematically. What number can I multiply two by that will give me forty-three?" Mm -hmm. uh, forty-three. No, I don't put forty-three. What's, well, well, what what am I going to multiply 2 by? Because it's 2 here. Yeah, 2 here. I put 21.5. 21.5 times 2 will give two. me 43. Yeah. But I cannot leave, right? So when I balance equations, mm. I must have whole... Number. Numbers. So, if I have a fraction like this, multiply everything by 2. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to multiply 21.5 by 2. And what am I going to get? I'm going to get 43. Yeah. yeah right? 43. Which means if I multiply that by, two, by 2, I have to multiply 14 by 2. So, 14 by 2 is? 14, 3. 28. I'm going to multiply 15 by 2 to give me 30, but I also see that there's no number here in front. So the number that used to be here in front here was a 1, but if I'm multiplying everything by 2, the number here in front will be 2. So everything will be doubled. 
So now, instead of 14 carbons, I have 28 carbons. All right, 28 carbons, 28 carbons. Instead of 30 hydrogens, I have 60 hydrogens, but still balanced. Instead of 43 oxygens, right, I have 86 oxygens. 86 oxygens. So the end result for this equation, if I'm writing it out as a properly balanced equation, is going to be as follows. 2 C14 H30 plus 43O2 produces 28 CO2 plus 30 H two O. So now, even if we didn't use that point five up here, even if we didn't use that, we could still get this answer. All these numbers, it's just gonna take longer for us to get to them if we didn't use this point five method.